So picking up right after where the last story left off, a full on battle breaks out between Lex Luthor's little team of villains with Batman and Catwoman helping them against a crime syndicate member powering with other mercenaries and villains themselves. And shortly after, we see Sinestro deal with Power Ring himself, literally killing him and setting the ring off. We see how the other members fare in fights. With Batman, who is really on a team of his own, fighting against everyone there with Catwoman. And when through the chaos, Batman stops to talk to Luther for a second, saying, Friends of yours, Luther? With him responding, No. Why don't I believe you? Batman says, I wouldn't expect you to. Before Luther puts his hands up, seemingly about to blast Batman. But as it turns out, a villain was about to jump on Batman, Copperhead. But Lex saved him. And with him even saying, Though you do realize, Batman, I just saved your life. And with Batman begrudgingly responding, Don't flatter yourself. And as Batman starts to take on Copperhead hand to hand, Lex says, Get clear so I can get another shot. But with Batman simply saying, don't try and earn favor, Luther. As soon as I'm through with them, I'll be setting my sights on you. Before Luther just says, you'll have to get in line then, Batman. As we see Deathstroke point his gun straight at Luther's unprotected head. And with Deathstroke rightly bringing up, saying, You spend billions on this suit of armor, but you leave out the helmet. I'm guessing because you can't stand the thought of people not knowing it's you. Which I know in some iterations, Luther has force fields around his suit of armor, but in some iterations, it's literally just a suit without a helmet. Which you would think for a billionaire genius, with normal enemies, and as a supervillain, he would be more protective. But anyways, Luther himself then brings up a good point, saying, If you kill me, Deathstroke, then nothing stops a syndicate. And since Deathstroke is a mercenary, or an assassin, he really has loyalty to no one but the money. So if one time Luther himself could hire Deathstroke, boom, he's loyal to Luther. But if someone can outbid him or pay him more, he would snap and turn on Luther in a heartbeat. But then Lex continues, saying, What do you think is going to happen if these super doppelgangers actually take over our world, Slade? There will be no need for mercenaries on a planet full of them. The hunt will be over. And I know as well as you, you're nothing without the hunt. The syndicate is bad for business, mine and yours which actually causes Deathstroke to stop and think for a second. And as this conversation is going on, Copperhead and Batman are still fighting, with Copperhead seemingly having that upper hand, with him wrapped around Batman, with him saying, blow Luther's brains out already. I'll swallow what's left as soon as I deal with Batman. But as he looks over to Slade, he sees Slade slowly pointing his gun, saying, change of plans, Snake Man, before firing around, killing the villain, much to Batman's disappointment. And afterwards, Deathstroke says to Luther, you're going to write me a big fat check if we get through this, Luther. But with the fight now done and all of the villains either secured or defeated, everyone left standing stops and talks for a second. Specifically, Luther's team and Batman and Catwoman. With Luther saying, before you pull out another battering Batman, consider this. There's no need for us to fight because we all want the same thing. We want the crime syndicate eradicated. But Batman disagrees with this as Luther's team wants them killed. But Batman and his moral code wants them taken in alive. And with Deathstroke butting in on a conversation saying, you think we're playing by your rules, Batman? This isn't your game anymore, it's ours, and we don't take prisoners. But just then, Sinestro comes back in from previously killing Power Ring, saying, the Green Lantern Pretender is dead, and next time you attempt to activate one of my rings, please don't resist it. It leaves the ring and yourself vulnerable. He then goes on to further explain, if you allow yourself to fully embrace fear, you could have the power you desperately crave. Ironically, the same power you're afraid of having. What a wonderful Yellow Lantern you'd make. Before he is cut short by Luther, saying how they can use Sinestro's help, saying Earth is under attack by a parallel universe. But Sinestro, being not only not human, but having no interest on Earth, there is nothing in it for him. And with Lex being the masterful manipulator he is, imagine what a lesson it would be once Green Lantern learned you did what he couldn't. Help me lead us to victory, Sinestro. Which brings him on board. But Batman then speaks up, as he obviously doesn't like these murderers and villains forming this team together, saying no. This is a search and rescue mission first, to find Richard Grayson, and only once Nightwing is safe, we will take down the Syndicate. But all of you are going to work within the perimeters I set and follow the orders I give. If we are working together, I am in charge. Which it seems Batman didn't read the room, as all the other villains just stare at him. As in this instant, Batman has no power here. As Deathstroke himself is usually a hard, tough fought battle, going usually 50-50, but add on Sinestro, Black Adam, Bizarro, and Lex Luthor, Batman is outgunned and outsmarted. With even Catwoman realizing this, saying, uh, Batman, they're in charge. So while Batman and Lex's team sort out their problems, we see the crime syndicate sort out problems of their own as Ultraman and Superwoman infiltrated the Batcave as they were in search for the last piece of kryptonite on Earth, which was in a Batcave in the form of a kryptonite ring. And unfortunately for Ultraman, Batman took it. And how Owlman is there on his own accord, wanting more information of the Waynes of this universe, he informs them 
that Batman has it. To their surprise as they thought Batman should be dead, which Owlman simply says, Waynes do tend to survive. But just then they are interrupted by Grid, who informs them that Power Ring is dead. And while the exact reason is unimportant, the main concern is the ring. As it went off searching for a new host, it releases pulses of energy, ones that could even be sensed from across the multiverse. And because of it, something appeared on the coast of Maine just seconds ago. So Ultraman then calls an emergency meeting with the rest of the syndicate. And as they all arrive on the coast of York, Maine, they look up in the sky. As they all start to talk and argue about what to do next and what's the game plan. I told you I was right, Deathstorm. I told all of you, the creatures that destroyed our world have found us here. As we see a giant red crack in the sky, which seems to be from whatever eldritch monster and horrors lie beyond the universal barriers.